everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome and if you are not new welcome back today we're going to be doing our week two um transaction log for um not week two transaction log our week two review y'all our week two review um and i do just want to fill out something up here at the top oh i'm all over the place <clears throat> let me fix my camera you guys all right so that's one thing we got the camera taken care of and then for um let me get my pen and then for um week one y'all i forgot to fill all of this stuff in so i actually got 40 dollars for my boyfriend which made it 140 i didn't spend anything that week so we're just we rolled over <clears throat> all of this so um for week two is going to be december 7th through the 13th so let me write in all of my cash envelopes with it which is groceries gas household personal and miscellaneous okay and i'm just rolling over everything from last week so i had 140 80 15 50 and zero so let me open up my wallet and take out my cash dividers so here are my cash dividers here if you guys um don't know what they look like so for groceries Put my coupon away. Um, I have $23 left out of $140. I have my calculator over here. Um, and that means I used $117, which left me with $23. And then for gas, I have $20, $30. 35 40 41 42 dollars and i originally had 80 so that leaves me with 38 that i spent for gas leaves me with 42 and then for household i know i didn't spend anything i'm trying to save up some money so that i can do kind of a big haul of things so i just still have my 15 and then um, for personal, I did go and get my hair done and I gave a tip. So I only have $10 left and I spent 40. And then there was nothing for miscellaneous. So that was everything for my weekly review for my cash envelopes. And so let's get into my transaction log and see what was going on over there. So we're over here to my transaction log. So let's get on into it. So the first thing that I had was a um, a transfer over to savings, which was a dollar. So I have a Wells Fargo bank account. And when I got it, it was um, while I was in college and the way it was set up is to help me be able to save it would take a dollar every time i make a purchase using my um my debit card and that's how it helped me save money so every time i make a payment online or i make a um oops and that or if i make a payment um with my debit card like in the store or something it transfers a dollar over so that's why you guys see like a dollar savings and not like uh-uh why is she only just saving a dollar and then also on the ninth i had some income come in for um cash app 
And so um, what happens is that sometimes when we go to, like out to eat, like at my job and stuff, sometimes like one of us will just use our card or something like that and um, pay for something. And then the rest of us will just cash app back whatever we owe. So this was for something I bought or yeah, that I paid for with my credit card, which was already paid off. I have forgot the money was sitting in there and I just cashed it out. So um, I got 975. So that's why I have that income right there. And then on the 9th, I went to Starbucks. Y'all, it's the end of the year and I feel like I just don't care anymore. Um, but I'm getting I'm going to get it together. I'm going to get it together because I need to care. I need to care. Um, but yeah, I've been going to Starbucks a little bit too much for my liking. Um, and then I have Netflix that came out because it was a Sunday. They never took it out. So that's why it came out on the 9th instead of the 8th. And then, um, on the 10th, you guys will be able to see this soon in my 2020 prep um, videos that I'll show you guys. I made a payment to PayPal um, for $10 because I am getting some new cash dividers. Um, so you guys will be able to see that soon. And then also on the 11th, I had another income, which was from Cash App. I had paid for for something and I was getting the money back and it was on my credit card and once again it was already paid off um I just got the money and so um that's why we're just now seeing it every time it comes into my cash app you guys like I don't ever remember to take this out um and put it back into my account so that's why we're seeing like all of this stuff um and then on the 11th as well I paid my Great Lakes which is my small student loan and it was for $44.39 and that put me at $73.94 and then I just made my minimum payment to Wells Fargo and that was it's actually 25 but because I had already just budgeted $29 I just kept it that way and that leaves me at $44.94 if y'all can see that last little one but those are all of my transactions from the 7th through the 13th um, if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to my channel I would love for you to join my family and I'll see you guys next time